You're building a company that's going to scale to the moon. You've decided to use Kubernetes to help you do it. Seems that everywhere I turn these days, more and more companies are building out application platforms on top of Kubernetes. That being said, building such a system for you and your team is quite an undertaking. It involves navigating a massive decision tree full of nuanced trade-offs and then implementing the right abstractions to ensure your team's productivity increases rather than getting bogged down managing YAML files. It starts with foundational questions such as which cloud provider to use. One of the hyperscale providers such as AWS, GCP, or Azure, or maybe one of the alternatives like Linode, DigitalOcean, or Sivo Cloud. Do you want to manage Kubernetes yourself or go with a managed service from the cloud provider of your choice? What's your infrastructure as code approach? Terraform, Pulumi, maybe Crossplane? How are you going to handle environment isolation? Are namespaces sufficient? Do you need separate clusters or maybe even separate cloud accounts or projects? How are you going to manage your application manifests? Something like Helm or Customize to help reduce config duplication? The list goes on and on. The number of available tools is overwhelming. I've spent the past few years of my career helping companies navigate these choices and build out application platforms using Kubernetes. Now I want to take everything that I've learned and distill it into a project that I'm calling the Kubernetes Platform Playbook. This will be part best practices guide, part opinionated implementation, and I'm going to build the entire thing in public. I'll evaluate each decision, document the trade-offs, choose what I think is the best option for a hypothetical company persona, and then incorporate it into a cohesive application platform. It'll be a mixture of live streams showing the raw process, including research and implementation, as well as pre-recorded videos and written content to distill the results into something a bit easier to digest. There will also be an open source repo showcasing a fully operational system. Who is this series for? It's for software engineers who are on teams that are either building or considering building a platform on top of Kubernetes. You may have already started down this path, but have gotten overwhelmed by the sheer magnitude of the landscape and want some help navigating it. Or perhaps you're new to Kubernetes and want to accelerate your learning curve. Either way, I'm super excited for this series and that you found your way to it. If this sounds interesting to you, make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for upcoming content. In the next video in the series, I'll be focused on whether Kubernetes is even the right choice for you and your team. Once that's released, there will be a link for it over there. Don't hesitate to reach out on Twitter or join the DevOps Directive Discord community if you have questions along the way. That's it for today, and remember, just keep building.